<laughs> Thank you, Dr. Stehauer, President McDonald. Um, I'm very, very honored to be here. Thank you for your very kind words and for the invitation to be here with you today. Let me also extend my gratitude to the Board of Trustees and to the faculty and staff and add my hearty congratulations to you, the class of 2022, and to all of those here gathered who have loved, encouraged, and cheered you on. Today, you become alumni of Northwood. You join an impressive roster of alums, including my favorite Northwood alum, a handsome gentleman in the crowd today by the name of Dick DeVos. Uh, Dick and I actually met through a common friend while we were in school on the other side of our state at Calvin College. While I stayed at Calvin, Dick chose to come here, to Northwood. It was a better choice for him in many ways. So it's a particularly special honor that we are now both degree holders from America's Free Enterprise University. A love of free enterprise is in our DNA, and I trust it's in each of yours, too. Alarmingly, though, the term free enterprise doesn't seem to be on trend these days. The simple beauty of individuals freely creating, building, and engaging in commerce is under open assault from Lansing to Washington, as is entrepreneurship, hard work, the very things that have made America the strongest, most prosperous nation on the face of the earth. But you and I know that free people using their God-given talents and efforts to improve and make the world a better place is a timeless truth. And today, timeless truths need defenders. They're under assault as well. Our world is changing. Sometimes change has been slow, but not always. The truth is, life comes at you fast. For many of you, I bet it feels like yesterday when you received that admissions letter from Northwood, and today you don the cap and gown. Six years ago, I couldn't have imagined getting the call to serve as Secretary of Education. Today, it's hard to believe it's been more than a year since I concluded that job. Two years ago, I'm sure you couldn't imagine a disease from halfway around the world forcing you to attend class by Zoom, albeit briefly locked away from your peers, or a flood that encompassed the campus. And two weeks into that, none of us thought we'd wait two years to get mostly back to normal. A few months ago, one of your fellow graduates, Irina Tristan, couldn't imagine being worried about her family back in Kyiv, Ukraine. That changed in an instant. On top of finishing her studies and competing on Northwood's tennis team, Arena now worries hourly about whether her parents, 14-year-old brother, and her grandparents are safe. Life comes at you fast, and Arena's own words capture it best. I just really hope the war will soon be over. I pray for my country, for my people. It breaks my heart to see them suffer. But we are a strong nation, and I love my people. I'm pretty sure we will fight to the end, and we're not going to give up. I know Arena isn't giving up, and I know the Ukrainian people won't give up their fight for freedom either. I'm certain each of you have faced adversities along the way, and you persevered. As a result, today you are stronger, more resilient, more capable, and perhaps you are more cognizant of the value of freedom. I trust you will bring that grit, determination, resilience, and strength to whatever you encounter in your next life chapter. Because as of today, the aperture opens. Up till this point, you may feel like your life has been ordered for you, and you've reached this point maybe perfunctorily, class to class, grade to grade, graduation to graduation. But you will find in your careers, your lives, your families, nothing is as predictable as we might think. Think of a skillfully sewn needlepoint canvas. When you look at the right side, it's beautiful in both design and execution. But when you flip it over, it's a mess. It's filled with knots and stray threads. 
It looks patternless and chaotic. The same is true when reflecting on a life well lived. You remember each knot and you learn from each thread. What to others might appear perfect in form and design actually includes many imperfections and curiosities. So I encourage you to embrace the mess. Know that your life won't always unfold according to your own carefully conceived plan. Anticipate being called to something different, to something unexpected. Be not afraid. Don't avoid a change in course, an alternate path. Don't fear the unknown. Step out with faith onto those stormy waters. We are blessed to live in the most successful and most free country in the history of human civilization. And with that blessing also comes responsibility. So my challenge to each of you is this. What will you do to put your newly gained skills to work in the service of others? How will you apply what you've learned here to protect freedom and advance opportunities for those around you? For me, that cause has been expanding educational opportunities to those who are denied them today. To the ambitious and capable student who throw, through no fault of their own is assigned to a school that just doesn't meet her needs. To the parent who wants something better for his son but can't afford to make the change. To the teacher who wants the freedom to teach timeless truths, not the agenda of someone else. Perhaps your endeavor will also be in education, or perhaps healthcare, technology. Whatever your next life chapter, I hope you will remember and defend the timeless truths. Understand that life comes at you fast and embrace the unexpected. Lean into life and make a difference in our world. I believe the Lord has great plans for each of you and I pray you will be open to whatever twists and turns your life may take. Congratulations to the Northwood University Class of 2022. May God bless you in your endeavors. Thank you for the opportunity to share with you on this special day, and I wish you all the very, very best.